in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to record your computer screen using OBS. Welcome back to the channel. My name is CJAM and today I'm going to be sharing with you how I record my computer screen when I'm doing my Photoshop tutorials. Now, I've been getting this question a whole lot ever since I started this channel as in how do you record your screen? How do you record yourself using Photoshop? And today we're going to be discussing that. And as I mentioned, the app that I use, the software that I use is called OBS and it's a free open source software. And I'll put a link in the description as to where you can get that. It's completely free. You don't have to pay anything for it, right? And as I've mentioned, I've been using it since I did my very first Photoshop tutorial. So I've been using it now for about two plus years, right? And I love it. The reason why I like OBS is one, obviously it's free and it's full of functions and so many, you have so many features that you can tweak to get the best out of it and you can even use it for live streaming. I haven't had any issues with it so far and it's doing its job, so I'm using it while it's working for me. And by the way, this video is not sponsored. I'm just sharing with you what I use to record my screen, all right? So what I wanna do now is I just wanna jump into OBS and just show you how to set it up to get the right screen recording for your videos, right? So let's go ahead and hop on over into OBS. So here I am in OBS and and this is what your OBS would look like. It may be in studio mode, but if it is, all you have to do is just click that off. And then over here is what's important, your scenes and your sources. And right here, I have my camera as a scene and one of my desktop monitors as a scene, right? But I have another monitor here, an LG monitor that I want to add just to show you guys how to add your own monitor. That way you can record your screen, right? So. A scene is what you want to show in your recording, right? And then the source in that scene is obviously what you want to be recorded to that scene. And in this instance, we want to create a second um, desktop scene for my next, my second monitor. And I want that to capture the entire display, right? So let me just go ahead and click this plus sign here. And I'm just going to go ahead and name it desktop two. And I'm going to put LG in bracket because it's an LG monitor. And then I'm going to click OK. And now I have to select a source because you see right here, right here it says you don't have any sources. Click the plus button below to write or right click to add one, right? So I'm just going to click on this plus button. And what I'm adding is I want it to be a display capture. I want everything that's on my desktop to be captured, not just a particular window for a software or app, right? I'm just going to go ahead and click display capture and then you can rename it if you want. But for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to leave it as is. And then you're going to get a dialog box to ask you to choose which display. If you have multiple displays, which one you want to capture? Like I have multiple displays, right? I have one here and one here. I'm just going to go ahead and hit this drop down and select my second desktop right here. And there you see it. I have my browser already up on that window and the reason why it's not filling up the window is because the resolution of this source here is full hd right 1920 by 1080p but my monitor is not set to full hd because it's a tv right so what you can do should you have this issue if you have a full hd monitor you won't have to worry about this but should in case you're using a source that's not the same resolution as you're seeing you can just click on this corner and just drag it out like so now if i go back to my scenes you can see that i have a desktop right here which is what you're seeing right now. And then I have my desktop number two, and that's all you have to do to get your sources set up, right? And the recording portion of it is you, you can just go ahead and hit start recording right here. But before you do that, I want you to go to your settings and I want you to make sure that you go to video and to make sure your video is set to full HD. Just a quick note here, if your monitor is actually a 4K monitor, which is larger than full HD, then the resolution that you may see here in OBS may be 
3840 by 2160, right? If you're using a laptop screen, there's a strong possibility that your resolution may also be 1366 by 768. So depending on the size screen that you have attached to your computer, then your resolution may vary by default, right? And you may not even be able to go up to full HD. So always keep that in mind. 1920 by 1080 pixels and the frame rate is 30 frames per second is fine for screen recording and then you can go to output and then you want to go to advanced well simple is fine as well and then i normally keep my recording format as mkv that's a lossless format mean that you're not losing any quality while the screen recording is being done and then if you come under advanced you can do like more tweaking to your settings but that's pretty much my settings even if i go back to simple i pretty much keep it on mkv for my file format and under video you know full hd 1920 by 1080 pixels and then you can just go ahead and click apply and okay and what's cool is after you record a particular file type right let me go back and show you if you want to just go ahead and just record mp4 and not have to think about it you can go ahead and change this to mp4 and then click OK. But if you use a lossless format like MKV, right? Premiere Pro doesn't read MKV files. So if you want to convert it, all you have to do is you can do it right here in OBS. You just go to File, Remux Recordings, and then you locate your recordings, right? So you go to Remux, and then you can just click this dot right here, and you get a dialog box that asks you to choose which file you want to Remux, and then you just click Remux. And that's it. Your file is ready to be imported into Premiere Pro and into your tutorial. So if I want to go ahead and record my second monitor here with my YouTube page, all I have to do is just go ahead and hit click start recording. And then I can just go ahead and just scroll down on my page. And while I'm scrolling, it is being recorded, right? And all I have to do to stop that recording is go ahead, come back here and click stop recording and that's it so that's all that i do to record my screens have you ever used obs before have you ever heard of obs before and does this encourage you now to start recording your own screens for your own tutorial be sure to let me know in the comments below and thank you thank you so much for watching this video once again my name is tjam and i will see you guys in the next video